Hi, Russ of Aquarimax here. Isopods can, of course, be amazing pets, but they are usually considered display animals, rather than a creature that you interact a lot with. That's not entirely true, though. In some cases, you can actually feed them by hand. The reason why I said in some cases is that their willingness to take food from your fingers will vary by species, size of the colony, how recently they've eaten, and the food item you offer, as well as possibly other factors. To show you what I mean, let's see what happens when I offer several species of isopod a food that is usually very readily accepted by a wide variety of species of isopod, fish food pellets. Let's start with Porcelio expansus. Though this large Spanish species is undoubtedly one of the most fantastic looking isopods in the hobby, it's definitely not the boldest. This species does enjoy fish food pellets, but it's rather shy and prone to darting away when it senses my fingers. Sometimes even in the wrong direction. One individual did get close to taking a pellet, but never quite got there. I think it's probably worth trying again once my colony is larger. Individuals from larger colonies of isopods do tend to behave more boldly on average. Another isopod that I knew would take food directly from my fingertips is Porcelio ornatus yellow dot. This locality of Porcelio ornatus, in addition to being very bold and active, is a voracious eater. It's one of the species that will actively climb up onto my hands while I'm working in the enclosure and painlessly, though perceptibly, attempt to nibble my skin. When I offered these little eating machines fish food pellets, they didn't waste any time at all. I'm going to show you what happened when I tried to hand feed a few more different species of isopods, but before I do that, I want to thank our patrons at Patreon. There are a lot of ways that you can help keep our channel going and growing, and one of which you're doing right now just by watching. But becoming a patron for as little as a dollar a month is definitely one of the best ways to help. Thank you so much to all of our patrons. If you'd like to know more about becoming a patron, please click the link at the end of the video. And now on to more isopods. Porcelionides prunosus have very hearty appetites and will absolutely devour fish food pellets, so it made sense to give this species a try. Though they did show interest in the food and were bold enough to walk right up to it, they didn't really take it from my fingers. This may well be because they are so much smaller than the other species that I have shown you so far and were unable to grasp the pellet as the much larger Porcelio ornatus did. I think this is probably worth another attempt, probably with smaller pellets. Porcelio scaber calico very clearly attempted to take the pellets. Well, most of them did, but I kept dropping them. And of course they swooped right in to polish them off. I think these failures were on me. I just couldn't keep a hold on the pellets for some reason. I'll give this species another try in the future. Porcelio levis dairy cow were another obvious choice to try to hand feed. They are probably one of the least shy, most prolific, hardiest, and hungriest isopods in the hobby. Much like Porcelli ornatus, dairy cows went straight for the food and took it without hesitation. Another morph of Porcelio Levis, Milkback, were just as willing to take the food as the dairy cows. And interestingly, the Porcelio Levis California mix seemed to be much more shy than either of the other two Porcelio Levis morphs that I've shown you and wouldn't take the pellets from my hand. Again, this colony of California mix is fairly new, and perhaps a more populous colony would yield different results. So, understandably, it appears that overall, larger and more voracious isopods are better at taking food directly from your hands, um, individuals from larger colonies of isopods seem more likely to take the food as well, and this makes sense 
as individuals within the colony are probably competing more for food than they would be in smaller groups. So if you've ever hand fed your isopods, or if you try it after watching this video, I'd love to know which species you fed, what food items you offered, the approximate size of your colony, and of course your results. Please post your experience in the comments. If you want to try the same fish food pellets that I usually give my isopods, check the link in the description. Thanks for watching today. I post videos every Tuesday and Friday, all on aquarium and vivarium pets, with lots of isopod content. Please feel free to share, rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then tap the bell so that you don't miss my next post.